Right now, we're not able to make assertions at all levels of the stack, and we'd really like to be able to. Because when breakdowns happen, we want to know why they happened and where they happened. Is something not painted on the UI because of a UI issue? Or is it because of the underlying representation in the Redux store? Right now, we don't know, because we can't make any assertions on our front-end stores of any kind. So let's go ahead and make that possible. We'll start by opening src slash index, which is where in our application we've defined the store. We'll say if window.cypress, which means we're in a Cypress testing environment. Then we know we're safe to expose the store on the window. Cypress actually exposes the window as cy.window, which will help us access it. So remember that Cypress code is asynchronous, and we don't just have access to window here. So let's take a callback and console.log window.store just to make sure we've set everything up properly. And it looks like we have. Cypress actually exposes a way to access these properties by using its. So we can say its store. But what we actually want is to be able to make assertions against the state of the store. In order to get the state of the store, we would normally call getState, which is a function, not a property like store. In order to do this, we can call invoke. So we can call invoke getState. Now, we should have our state, so let's take a look. We'll console.log state. Great, and this looks like the state we expect, because this is before we've waited for any preload. So instead, let's make an assertion on the store. We can say it should deep equal todos, which will have the state of the todos array, and visibility filter, which will be show all. But we actually want to assert that the todos have loaded. So let's go ahead and paste in the todos that we expect to be there and save it out. Let's revisit Cypress and see what happens. In fact, this test still passes because Cypress waits for the to-dos to load. Just like Cypress will wait until the specified timeout for UI elements to load, it'll also wait until the specified timeout for our store state to match what we expect. This makes it really easy to wait for and assert on asynchronous behavior.